Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do some homemaking motivation. We're going to get it all done. This was just a random day where I had went to the grocery store to pick up a few things and I thought it would be fun to do a cook and clean with me video. I know you guys have requested some recipe ideas and meal inspiration. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make some potato soup and some turkey and cheese Hawaiian bread sliders, really simple and easy. And then we're also going to make a peach crisp for dessert. But first we're going to put away all of the groceries and we're also going to do a little bit of cleaning just to get ready for the week. So if you guys are needing some motivation to get everything done at your house the start of the week, then you are in the right place. Let's go ahead and get it all done together. Alright, now we're going to start on our potato soup. So I just washed my crock pot, that way it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to put in a crock pot liner just to make cleanup a little bit easier. And then I'm going to get all of my ingredients out. So this is a super simple potato soup recipe. It calls for a block of cream cheese, half a block of Velveeta, a bag of hash browns, a can of cream of chicken soup, a box of chicken broth, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. 
that is it and I don't really go off of measurements I kind of just throw everything in and then see how it tastes so I'm going to first put in my hash browns and it's kind of best if you let them thaw out a little bit and then I'm gonna add an entire box of chicken broth I always get the lower sodium then I'll add a can of cream of chicken soup. This makes it so creamy and really flavorful. And then we're gonna add in some spices. So I'm first going to sprinkle some onion powder on there. I kinda go heavy with that. And then I do a dash of garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then you're good to go. You can always add more later. And then I'm going to cube up my Velveeta and stick it in there. I just like to use about a half of stick of Velveeta cheese and I always just cube it up that way it melts a little bit easier and then you're going to cook all of this down for about four hours on high and then I usually do an extra two hours on low just that way the potatoes are really soft and they aren't hard so that's what you're going for and then we're not gonna add the cream cheese in yet we're gonna wait until about an hour or so before we're ready to serve it and we'll just make sure it's at room temperature or just kind of soft so that's what we're gonna do with the cream cheese and that is it for this potato soup recipe so easy and it's one of our go-to recipes all year round it's one of Taylor's very favorite things that I make which is so funny because it's so simple but it really is a good one so definitely try it out but later on we're going to make the sliders so stay tuned for that those are also a really good easy recipe for weeknight dinners Alright, I'm going to unload the dishwasher. I forgot that there were some dishes in there from the night before, so we're going to put all of these away and then finish cleaning up the kitchen. I'm going to sweep my floors really quickly using my Bona mop with the dry cloths. These are my absolute favorites for picking up dog hair or just daily sweeping the floors. It's so quick and easy and the Bona mop is really large so it covers a large area but highly recommend these little Bona dry cloths. I get them from Menards but sometimes I can find them at TJ Maxx too but they work so well. Was gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. down. Tried so hard to stay afloat, yet yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down.
about once a week, I like to go into the pantry and kind of straighten things up and take inventory of what we have. That way I can kind of coordinate my meals for the week around what we already have available in the pantry and see what I need to get for groceries. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just straightening things up. These bins get messy really quickly. So I'm just trying to organize a little bit and then I will go ahead into the kitchen and we will see what we're going to make for meals for the week. So like I said, how I do my meal planning is by looking in my fridge, looking in my pantry, seeing what I have, and then seeing what kind of meals I can make with the things that's already in there. That way it just saves a little bit of money and we can use up what we already have in there. Once that's done, I go ahead and grab my recipe box and a cookbook or two. And then I have my little meal plan notebook that also has my grocery list. This is from House and Home. I'll have it linked below if you guys want to grab one for yourself, but I love it. And then this little recipe box I got from Target in the dollar spot last fall and I love it. I'll also pull up Pinterest and look at the weather and see what nights we're going to grill and then get some new recipe ideas. So usually about once a week I like to try out a new recipe either from the Magnolia Table cookbook or from Pinterest. So we're going to make some homemade garlic knots. We've made these once before and they were so good so we're going to give those a whirl. And then I'm also going to try out a new crack chicken chili. So I'll have recipes for those linked down below in the description if you guys want to make any of these. Take me up into the mountains, send me up into the The soup is almost done, so we're gonna go ahead and add a whole block of cream cheese to it. This makes it so creamy. You just wanna give it enough time to fully melt down so there's no chunks of cream cheese in your soup. And then you can also add little pieces of bacon bits to the soup. Sometimes I just do it as toppings, but you can also put some in the soup as well, and it's really good. So let's go ahead and start on the sandwiches as well and the peach crisp. So 
That way everything is done. I know it's a little bit early, but I figured this stuff I can always just have warm and ready to go. So I'm just pulling everything off of the stove and I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. That's the temperature that it needs to be for both the crisp and the slider. So I'm first going to make the peach crisp and I'm going to start out by washing off the peaches and then just cutting them down into chunks and I'm also going to peel the skin and it called for eight cups but I definitely did not get eight cups out of the peaches that I have here so I just um, halved the recipe and that's what I went with so the measurements are a little bit off but if you guys want to make this I'll have the Pinterest recipe linked down below. We're going to add some sugar to the peaches as well as some cornstarch and I'm just going to mix those up. That's going to give the peaches a nice coating and also make the crisp stick to them a little bit more. And you're just going to put all of this in an 8x8 pan. Again, I half the recipe so it's not as full as it probably would have been. But nonetheless, it was still really good. Then we're going to add in some oats, some flour, and brown sugar. And then we're also going to fold in some butter. And we're just going to mash all of this together. It's going to kind of look like cookie dough. And then we will assemble the pan. Don't forget to spray your pan with some cooking spray of some sorts. I almost forgot this. And then you're just going to lay your peaches down and then crumble the granola and crisp topping above it. And then you're just going to stick it in the oven and let it bake for 30 minutes. Really simple. There's nothing to this recipe, but it's so good, especially with some vanilla bean ice cream. There's nothing better on a summer day than coming in and having some peach crisp and ice cream. So really good. And then now we're going to start on the sliders. I just got a package of the Hawaiian rolls. I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to leave my oven set on 350 degrees. I'm going to spray my pan and then add the bottom layer of the bread. Then we're just going to assemble the sandwiches. So I'm going to add some provolone cheese and then I got some deli meat. I went with turkey this time. And I'm just going to lay that down right on top of the cheese. You can do as many layers as you would like. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the second layer of buns on the top. Next, we're going to make the topping. So for this, I just melted some butter, added some dry parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper, some garlic. I think I added about two teaspoons of garlic, so quite a lot. And then I added some Worcestershire sauce as well. And this gave it the best flavor. I love these sliders. They are so good. I need to make them more often, but it was really light and just something really tasty to go with the soup because on hot summer days, you don't really want anything too heavy, but this still tastes really good. So we're going to stick these in the oven and we're going to bake them for about 15 minutes on 350 degrees, but you want to add some foil on top for the first 15 minutes and you don't really want the foil to stick to the tops of the buns or it could pull them off. So I'm going to stick a few toothpicks in the top of the buns and then add the foil and then we will stick them in the oven. And if you want them to be really crisp, you could also put them in an additional five minutes without the foil on after the 15 minutes is over. 
All right, here is the final results of everything we made. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little cooking clean with me video. I hope it gives you lots of motivation to tackle your week and get it all done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.